Okay, the price of meat, very high. And the price of cocaine, incredibly low. <laughs> One of the things that I really appreciate about living in the UK is that living here has taught me that this body type is okay. <laughs> like, this is fine. I'll take my shirt off, not even at the beach. I don't give a fuck, right? I feel good, because I know in Australia, this is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm too thin. That's not even a problem in the UK. People are just like, yeah, you're thin. We get it. Stop bragging, right? <laughs> There's just different expectations. Because like, I don't know if you've met Australian people, but I think the defining characteristic of Australians is we are just massive for no reason. <laughs> Seriously, in Australia, you see accountants walking around with shoulders and you're like, why? <laughs> what do you need those things for? How hard have you been crunching those fucking numbers, bro? <laughs> Do you carry all the twos at once, right? You're a one-man scrum who works a spreadsheet. It's confusing. I prefer the English model for people size, right? You've got a simple system over here. Keep the price of meat very high. And the price of cocaine incredibly low. <laughs> keeps people thin. <laughs> that way you can fit more people on the train, right? Good system. Good system. It's like, I don't think she's going to make it. Nah, fuck it. Give her a couple of lines. She'll squeeze in. <laughs> she's getting home on time tonight. And no need for a seat. She's found the energy to stand, right? She'll be all right. She'll make it. You guys love cocaine, man. I read an article. I read an article. Apparently, London does more cocaine than Berlin, Amsterdam, and Barcelona combined. And I mean, that makes sense, because if I'm paying this much rent, I want to be awake in my apartment for as long as possible. It's just good value for money, right? It's just, just makes sense.